Okay, okay it's gonna buy a arepas already. And I put a little bit of oil and just rub it in there in the skillet. I'm just going to let them brown. See this one gets in there. Mm. I'll cut that one later. And just let them cook for about five ten minutes, and then you're going to flip them on the other side. All right, let's see if they need to be flipped over. Ooh. Great. Oh, that's awesome. This one. Come on. Ah. Oh, nice. All these little brown bits. That's the mozzarella cheese. Mm -mm. Simple recipe. Not complicated at all. And I've got my broccoli with olive oil on there. Ooh. And I'm going to eat some of my leftover chicken mole that I made yesterday. My Mexican mole. My homemade sauce. Gonna have me a nice dinner. So in total, let me see, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've got like four or five more to go. So yeah, and I only used like not even half of the, not even half the bag. Let me show you. Not even half. Maybe like a maybe like a cup. A cup. Two cups of water. Some salt. I like to use Parmesan cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Some people just like to use the mozzarella cheese. Some people like to add their their own kind of cheese, the kind of cheese that they like, but uh, but yeah. <clears throat> so let's see how they're doing. Let's just check them out. I'm just going to leave them here for like 
two more minutes and good to go okay as you can see these arepas have already been cooked and grilled Ooh, they are nice and tender on the inside because of the uh, melted cheese so then you cut them open put the cheese in there and you can use grated cheese or you can use a slice of cheese and you don't have to put cheese you can stuff them with whatever stuffing you might like any stuffing of your choice and then eat them that way so I'm gonna continue stuffing them then we put them back in the pan to finish cooking until the cheese is nice and melted mmm can't wait so here is my other batch over here I'm going to eat it with my mole, my chicken mole. Mm -mm. And these are my arepas. I still have some more cooking, but look, look how cheesy, look how cheesy. So like I said, there's um, the yellow masarepa flour instant cornmeal and then they have the white i do prefer the white they didn't have any of the white instant mix so i got the yellow but these are just this good i need to try one mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, so cheesy mm. Mmm. Mmm. They are so, so, so good. They're just melting your mouth. Mm. I need to give this a try. Mmm. I usually drink water cheese I feel like spurging today so it's gonna get me a nice big glass with ice and some Dr. Pepper mm, but these are so good mm. oh my goodness mm. until next time guys you gotta make these they are so, so good. Bye now. Hello, everybody. I'm going to make some arepas. They are very, very simple. Just going to need some, two cups of water, salt, mozzarella cheese, You don't have to, but I like to add some Parmesan cheese and the masarepa. It's a pre-cooked yellow cornmeal. All right. So let's add the water. Maybe like a teaspoon or so. Mix it in there. And 
Then we're going to add the uh, mazarepa. The instant yellow cornmeal. You can also use it with the white cornmeal. There's the white and then there's the yellow. Oops. Let, me get a, let me get a whisk. a good consistency. I believe it was maybe like a cup. See. It should be looking like this. Kind of like making flour tortillas. You just keep adding the water until you get a good consistency. When you're making corn flour tortillas, same thing. Just gonna mix it really well in there. Very simple. Got to buy the uh, more mozzarella cheese because we're going to be stuffing them with mozzarella cheese, and um, so I need that extra to put it inside once I begin to grill them. Parmesan cheese, not too much. in there. Just get my hands in here. I think I could use a little bit more of that. We're going to form them into patties. Could use a little bit more. the salt. Mm. Pretty good. Oops. <laughs> I think that's good. Now,
and you can make them how little or how big you want them. This is the size I like them. It's a perfect size. All right. I'm going to show you the next step. And this is how they look. I'm going to make some more, but then I'm going after this, I'm going to grill them. And then I will show you the next I will show you the next step.